Oh, nice. Yeah. A bit obsessed with coffee, so. It's a classic. I tried the whole athlete lifestyle and not working a lot, and to be honest, like for myself, it just wasn't good. Like, it just gives you too much time to think. 20 to 25 grams of protein post like hard workout. At least a gram per body weight of carbs. So like, no, it's, a, it's like a wine cooler. I've never been a huge fan of alcohol, not for any particular reason. I just never like to taste that much. There's no point in me getting to the end of the season and celebrating because what have I done? I've just been on the sideline. And that turned into like one or two years. This is what you call a hemorrhoid donut, alright, but I don't have hemorrhoids. I've had so many like hamstring problems, like sort of tendinopathies right up in the insertion into the glute, so I have to sit on this. So my hips are about level with my knees. Nice. It's just the old man thing, so just ignore that. <laughs> I've been away for four years and It'd just be good to get away and do some races and train overseas. Oh, still got the fringe, bro. Yeah. Come to the bar with us. Sorry. Guy cannot get a good haircut. I can tell you. Next to Marie. Actual first team I made would have been the 2006 Commonwealth Games team. Pretty and, big. Oh, it was massive. Like for me, at that age, I was probably 22 or so, and it's every you know young runner's dream to represent their country. And yeah, it's massive. Like especially when I guess when you actually get announced, that feeling of like wow, like now. It's actually official, it's a pretty pretty good feeling. Yeah, it's all just part of the process and the journey that you, you take um, in your running career. And at some point you get to the to a level where you're good enough to make a team and that's you've kind of then realised that you've turned this dream into a bit of a reality and the hard part is just, I guess, making teams in the future after that because I always had this sort of feeling of once you make the first one, it's a bit of a snowball effect and it, you make every team from that point on. But now it's, you know, been six years since I made a team, so it's yeah. very, a bit of a yeah, reality check in a way. Still keep trying and when I feel like I have nothing more to give, then I'll probably stop competitive running and get into some coaching. So I guess the Melbourne Commonwealth Games is special because it was at home in Australia and you just had people you didn't even know yelling out, yelling out for you in the race. I guess the trick is like with pancakes. After making each one, like you got to drop the the heat back a bit. These are gonna be thick as hell, man. I'm here just solely for him. It's just all about, all about Rafi. I'm here to for him. He, he likes to tell people I fell in love with him and moved across the other side of the country. Yeah, if I'm feeling a bit guilty and I want to eat well, I just have yogurt. But sometimes I have ice cream. Post long run right. recovery. Yeah. So every uh, usually after long runs, I traditionally have pancakes. Nice. Yeah. My pancakes. Have fun. Oh, I don't need a kiss, bye. So yeah, winter, winter sucks in there.
just going to see my favourite my favourite man Robert at his Tidori barbershop just to get a fresh fade so Kurt's gonna Kurt's gonna come and do that. I thought I'd treat myself today, so it's good. Wow. Yeah. Wow.